Hello, my beloved child. I'm Jesus, your Savior. Here is a message from God to you. Don't close this video without listening because it's for you. In fact, if you love God and His Son, Jesus Christ, watch this video until the end and don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment on this video. God bless you. I love you, my sons. I love you, my daughters. Now we can hear the message from God. Thank you. Apart from me, you can do nothing, but with me, all things are possible. Let your life be a reflection of my love and my truth. Let your words be filled with grace, and your actions be an extension of my mercy. When you love others as I have loved you, you will fulfill the greatest commandment. You are called to be a light in the darkness. The world is lost, but you have the answer, the hope of glory. Share this hope with those around you, for the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. I am sending you into the world to proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God. Do not be afraid to speak my truth, for I am with you. I will give you the words to say and the strength to endure. Remember, you are my ambassadors, and I have equipped you for every good work. I will be with you through every trial and every test. When the storms of life rage, I will be your anchor. I will hold you fast, and I will see you through. In the midst of the trials, you will grow in faith and strength. I will refine you like gold in the fire, and you will come forth as pure and shining. Trust in me, for I am faithful to complete the work I have begun in you. And when you feel as though you are not enough, remember that you are complete in me. You are my beloved, and I have chosen you. I have equipped you with everything you need for life and godliness. My spirit dwells within you, and my power is at work in you. You are not defined by your past or your failures, but by my love and my grace. You are a new creation in me, and I am continually transforming you into my likeness. Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season you will reap if you do not give up. Keep pressing forward, for your labor is not in vain. I see the sacrifices you make, and I know the hard work you do in my name. I will reward you according to your faithfulness. Keep your eyes on the prize, the crown of life that awaits you. You are running a race, and I am with you every step of the way. Remember, my child, that I love you with an everlasting love. Nothing will ever separate you from my love. No trial, no hardship, no disappointment, no fear, nothing can take you from my grasp. You are mine, and I will never let you go. Trust in me, for I am the Good Shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep. You are precious in my sight, and I will always be with you. Hold fast to my promises, for they are true, and they will never fail. I am your Savior, your King, and your friend. Come, my child, and listen to my words. I have loved you with an everlasting love, a love that is boundless, that reaches beyond the stars and through every storm. I have called you by name, and you are mine. Even when the world turns its back, I remain with you, steadfast and faithful. Do not fear, for I have overcome the world. The victory is already won in me, and you are more than a conqueror through my love. When you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. For I am with you, my rod and my staff, they comfort you. I will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies, and I will anoint your head with oil, your cup will overflow. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In my house, there is no lack, no sorrow, no separation, but fullness of joy and peace everlasting. I have called you to be a vessel of my peace in a world filled with chaos. As the world grows darker, let my light within you shine brighter. Be a beacon of hope, for in you is the light of the world. Do not hide this light, but let it shine before men, 
that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. The world may reject you, but remember, they rejected me first. Stand firm, for I have overcome the world, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Remember the words I spoke, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Trust in my promises, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. In me, you will find peace, apart from me, you can do nothing. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Today has enough troubles of its own, and my grace is sufficient for you each day. Know this, my beloved, you are more precious than the lilies of the field, more valuable than the sparrows that fly. I take care of the birds, and I will take care of you. Do not worry about what you will eat or wear, your heavenly Father knows what you need. Seek first his kingdom, and he will provide for all your needs according to his riches in glory. The abundance of heaven is at your disposal, and I will supply every good gift from above. There is no need too great, no longing too deep, that I do not see and care about. In the quiet moments, when you feel alone, remember I am there, waiting with open arms. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. My burden is light, and my way is easy. Let go of your worries, and trust that I am working in ways you cannot see. Trust in my goodness, for I will never lead you astray. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. I satisfy your deepest needs and desires. You may search for fulfillment in the world, but you will find it only in me. My love is the living water that quenches every thirst, and my word is the food that nourishes your soul. Come to me, and you will find rest for your weary heart. Come and drink deeply from the well of my love. I have placed my spirit within you to guide you into all truth. You are not alone in this journey, for I am with you, dwelling in you. My spirit will teach you all things and bring to remembrance everything I have said. He will comfort you when you mourn, and he will convict you when you go astray. He will empower you to do the works that I have called you to, and he will fill you with my love and my joy. You are my temple, and my spirit lives in you. Do not let your heart grow cold or your faith grow weak. Continue in the love of God, for it is the greatest commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. This is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. My love is unshakable and eternal, and it will never fail. As you grow in love, you will grow in faith, and as you grow in faith, you will grow in power. Love one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. My child, when you feel like giving up, know that I am with you. When you feel that you have nothing left to give, remember that I am your strength. I will provide for you, protect you, and hold you up. I am your refuge and fortress, your shield and your comfort. There is no enemy, no power, no circumstance that can stand against you when you are in me. Take heart, for I have already won the victory. Be still and know that I am God. In the stillness, I will speak to you. In the silence, I will reveal my plans for you. Trust in my timing, and do not grow impatient. You may not see the full picture now, but I am working behind the scenes to bring about my perfect will for your life. Do not worry about tomorrow, for I have already gone ahead of you. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. As you walk in my ways, you will experience the fullness of life. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. When you follow me, you will find rest for your soul. You will find joy in the journey, 
peace in the storm, and hope in the darkest of days. Trust in me, and I will make your paths straight. My word will be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. I will guide you every step of the way. Remember, my beloved, that you are a new creation in Christ. The old has gone, and the new has come. I have washed you clean with my blood, and I have made you righteous in my sight. You are no longer a slave to sin, but a child of the Most High God. You are free, and you have been given a spirit of adoption. You belong to me, and nothing can separate you from my love. Your identity is in me, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. In this life, you will face trials and tribulations, but do not be discouraged, for I have overcome the world. In the midst of hardship, I will give you peace. In the midst of suffering, I will give you joy. In the midst of doubt, I will give you faith. Stand firm, for you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. The battles you face are not yours alone. I am with you, and my victory is assured. And when you feel the weight of the world upon your shoulders, come to me. Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. I will lift you up, and I will carry you through the storms. You do not walk this journey alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Trust in me, for I will never leave you or forsake you. I will be your strength, your refuge, and your peace. Remember that you are my beloved child, and I have a purpose and a plan for your life. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will direct your paths. My plans for you are good, and they are filled with hope. Know that I am faithful, and I will bring to completion the good work I have begun in you. My peace I give to you. Let your heart not be troubled, and let it not be afraid. You are mine, and I will never let you go. Continue to walk in my love and my truth, and you will experience the fullness of all that I have for you. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. Rejoice, for I am with you, and I will never leave you. Come, my child, and hear my voice. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. From the first breath of creation to the last moment of time, I have been with you. I formed you in your mother's womb, and I have seen every step of your journey. Though you may stumble, I will never leave you. I am the one who lifts you up when you fall, the one who carries you when you cannot walk. My love for you is eternal, and it will never fade. I know the burdens you carry, the struggles that weigh on your heart. You may not understand why things happen, why life seems hard, but know this, I am using every moment to shape you into the person I have called you to be. Every trial you face is an opportunity to grow in my love, to learn to trust me more. Do not despair, for I am working all things together for your good. Though the path may seem long, know that I am with you every step of the way. You are never alone, for I walk beside you. When you are weary, come to me, and I will give you rest. My peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind. In the midst of the storms of life, you will find a refuge in me. You may not always understand why things happen, but trust that I have a plan, a good plan, for your life. Even in the darkest moments, I am there, shining my light upon you. I am the light of the world, and as you follow me, you will not walk in darkness. Know that I am working in your life, even when you cannot see it. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. You may not see the whole picture now, but one day, all will be revealed. Trust in me, and know that I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made to you. My timing is perfect, and though you may face delays or detours, I am always working for your good. I am the Good Shepherd, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I know each of you by name, 
and I call you to follow me. I lead you beside still waters and restore your soul. I guide you on paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you need not fear, for I am with you. My rod and my staff comfort you. I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies, and I anoint your head with oil, your cup overflows. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own, but my grace is sufficient for you. Do not be anxious about what you will eat or drink, or about your clothes. Look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Abide in me, and you will bear much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. Stay connected to me, for I am the source of your strength, your peace, and your joy. As you remain in me, you will bear fruit that lasts. Love one another as I have loved you, for this is the greatest commandment. Love is the key to the kingdom, and it is through love that my people will know you are my disciples. Love your enemies, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who persecute you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not hide your light, let it shine brightly, for the world is in desperate need of my love. I have given you the power to overcome the world. Through my Spirit, you have the authority to cast out demons, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, and to proclaim the good news to the poor. You are my ambassadors, sent to bring the kingdom of God to earth. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will give you the words to speak, and I will open doors that no one can shut. Trust in me, and you will do greater things than I have done. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You are not of this world, but you are a citizen of heaven. Your true home is with me, and one day, you will dwell with me forever in the place I have prepared for you. Do not let the cares of this world weigh you down. Set your eyes on me, the author and perfecter of your faith, and you will run the race with endurance. Though you face trials and difficulties, I promise that I will never leave you or forsake you. I am the rock upon which you stand, the foundation that cannot be shaken. When the storms of life come, you will not be moved, for you are anchored in me. I will provide for all your needs, and I will give you peace that passes all understanding. Trust in me with all your heart, and I will direct your paths. Lean not on your own understanding, but acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will make your paths straight. Do not be afraid of the future, for I have already gone ahead of you. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Trust in my plans, for they are good, and they are filled with hope. Even when the road ahead seems uncertain, know that I am with you, and I will lead you step by step. Remember that you are my precious child, and I have called you by name. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and I have a purpose for your life. You are not an accident, but a masterpiece created for good works. I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your calling. Be bold, be courageous, and know that I am with you wherever you go. Let your heart be filled with my love, and let that love overflow to those around you. Be kind, be compassionate, be forgiving, for this is the way of my kingdom. When you love others, you reflect my heart. When you serve others, you serve me. 
When you show mercy, you show the mercy that I have shown to you. Live in the power of my love, and you will change the world. Know this, my child, I am always with you. I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know my sheep. I call you by name, and I lead you beside quiet waters. I restore your soul, and I will never let you go. You are mine, and nothing can snatch you from my hand. As you walk with me, remember that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I am the bread of life, whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Walk in my ways, and you will find rest for your soul. Trust in my word, for it is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Remember that I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Know this, my child, in every season of your life, I am with you, ever present, ever faithful. When the sun shines brightly and the winds are calm, praise me, but when the storms rise and the darkness seems overwhelming, still praise me, for I am your refuge and your strength. The mountains may tremble, and the oceans may roar, but I, the Lord your God, am unshaken. I am your constant, your anchor in the storm. Trust in me and you will not be moved. Remember, I have called you by name, and you are precious in my sight. Your life is not random, nor is it without purpose. I have woven you together with a plan that only I know fully, and though the road may seem unclear at times, trust in me, for I am leading you to something greater than you can imagine. Every step, every twist and turn, has its place in my divine purpose for you. Do not fear, for I hold the future in my hands. When the world tells you to rely on your own strength, I tell you to lean on me. For my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel small, know that you are never insignificant in my eyes. I am the God who sees you, who knows the very hairs on your head, and who loves you with an everlasting love. Nothing can separate you from my love, not your mistakes, your fears, nor your doubts. You are mine, and nothing in this world can take that away. Let your heart not be troubled. There are many voices calling you to fear and despair, but I say to you, be still and know that I am God. My peace surpasses all understanding, it guards your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. When you feel overwhelmed, come to me, and I will give you rest. Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you deeply. I know the burdens you carry, and I promise that I will carry them with you. I will never leave you or forsake you, no matter what you face. As you walk in the light of my truth, you will see the world differently. You will see others through my eyes, and you will love them as I love them. The love I have for you is not just for you to hold, it is meant to be shared, poured out freely upon those around you. Love is the greatest commandment, and it is through love that you will fulfill your calling. Be patient, be kind, and be generous with your love, for it is through love that my kingdom is revealed. And when the world tries to lead you astray, remember that I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other path, no other hope. The world offers fleeting pleasures and empty promises, but I offer eternal life. The treasures of this world are temporary, but the treasures I offer are eternal. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys. And where thieves do not break in and steal. You are not made for this world, you are made for my kingdom. Set your sights on what is above, not on earthly things. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. My kingdom is not of this world, and its values are different from the values of this world. 
But know this, my child, the values of my kingdom bring true joy, peace, and fulfillment. When you live according to my word, you will find true happiness and satisfaction, for I am the source of all good things. Do not be afraid to stand firm in your faith. In this world, you will face trials, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. You will encounter opposition, but know that I am with you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Stand firm in my word, for it is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. And when you are weary, I will give you rest. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest for your soul. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You are my beloved, my precious child, and I have called you to a life of purpose and joy. Do not let the cares of this world distract you from the calling I have placed on your life. You are not meant to live in fear, nor are you meant to live in shame. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. When you feel weak, know that my strength is made perfect in you. Do not be afraid of the future, for I am already there, and I will guide you through every moment of your life. Remember, my child, that I am the shepherd who leads you beside still waters and restores your soul. I will protect you, guide you, and care for you, even when the world feels uncertain. Trust in me, for I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My love for you will never change, and I will never leave you. You are my child, and I have sealed you with my Holy Spirit, who will be with you always, empowering you to live according to my will. Know that my heart is full of love for you. I have loved you with an everlasting love, and my thoughts toward you are for good, not for harm. I have plans to give you a future and a hope. So do not fear the future, for I have already gone ahead of you. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge me in all your ways, and I will direct your paths. Rest in my love, my child, and know that you are never alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You are my beloved, and nothing can separate you from my love. Live in the freedom and peace that comes from knowing that you are in my hands. Trust in me, and I will lead you to the life I have prepared for you, a life filled with joy, peace, and purpose. Do not fear, my beloved. I have already overcome the world and I am with you always, even until the very end of time. Every trial you face is an opportunity for you to draw closer to me, for through trials, your faith is refined and your heart is made pure. I know the depths of your struggles, and I walk with you through them. Though you may not always understand the purpose, know that I am always at work in your life, bringing about my goodwill. Trust in my timing, for I make all things beautiful in their time. Let not your heart be troubled, for the things of this world are fleeting, but the treasures I offer you are eternal. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the things you need will be provided for you. The world may offer fleeting pleasure and momentary satisfaction, but I give you living water, which will satisfy your soul forever. Come to me, all who are thirsty, and I will fill you. Drink deeply from the well of my grace, and you will never thirst again. I am the bread of life, and whoever comes to me will never hunger. I am the true vine, and you are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing, but when you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. I am the source of your strength and the foundation of your life. Without me, there is no life, no purpose, no joy. But in me, you are made whole, you are complete, and you are given the power to live the life you were created for. Remember, my child, that my love for you is unshakable. No matter what you face, no matter the obstacles in your path, I am with you. My love for you is greater than any fear, any worry, or any struggle. It is a love that surpasses understanding, a love that never fades, 
and a love that will never let you go. In my love, you will find your identity, your purpose, and your peace. Rest in my love, and let it be the foundation of your life. Though the world may offer many paths, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The world may tell you that there are many roads to follow, but I say to you, there is only one path that leads to true fulfillment, and that path is through me. Follow me, and you will find life and peace. Trust in me, and you will never be disappointed. When you face challenges, do not be afraid, for I am with you. When you walk through the fire, I will be with you, when you pass through the waters, they will not overwhelm you. You are precious in my sight, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will carry you through every storm, and you will come out stronger, more refined, and more beautiful in my sight. The trials you face are not for nothing, but are shaping you into the person I have called you to be. I am the Good Shepherd, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I know you by name, and I call you my own. You are my precious child, and I will never let you go. I will guide you with my wisdom, and I will protect you with my strength. No one can snatch you out of my hand, for you are mine, and I will keep you safe in my care. When you are lost, I will search for you, and when you are hurting, I will heal you. There is nothing that can separate you from my love. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. The troubles of this world are temporary, but the joy I offer is eternal. Do not let the worries of this world steal your peace. Remember that I am the Prince of Peace, and my peace transcends all understanding. I give you peace, not as the world gives, but a peace that calms your heart and strengthens your soul. Let my peace rule in your heart, and trust that I am working all things together for your good. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Your life is a testimony to the world of my love and grace. Live in such a way that others are drawn to the light of my truth. Share the good news of the kingdom, and let your words and actions reflect the love that I have poured into your heart. I have come to give you life, and life abundantly. Do not settle for less than the full life I offer. Do not let the distractions of this world pull you away from the abundant life I have planned for you. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you may have life, and have it to the full. Live fully in me, and experience the joy, peace, and purpose that comes from walking with me. And know this, my child, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I was, and am, and will be forever. Nothing in this world is outside of my control. Every moment of your life is held in my hands, and nothing can happen apart from my will. Trust in my sovereignty, and know that I am working in all things for your good. Rest in the knowledge that I am always with you, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you. You are never alone, for I am with you always. So let your heart be at peace, my beloved. Trust in my promises, for they are sure. I will never leave you or forsake you. I will be with you through every trial, every joy, and every sorrow. My love for you is steadfast and unchanging. Rest in my love, walk in my truth, and live in the hope of my eternal promises. You are mine, and I will never let you go. Take courage, for I have overcome the world. Remember, my beloved, that I am always near, even when the storms of life rage around you. When the waves crash and the winds howl, know that I am with you in the boat. Just as I calmed the storm with a word, I can bring peace to your heart in the midst of the chaos. Trust in me, for I have authority over all things, both the seen and the unseen. There is nothing in this world that can overpower my love for you. Nothing is too great for me to overcome. 
When you feel weak, remember that my strength is made perfect in weakness. In those moments when you feel as though you can bear no more, I am there, carrying you through. I am your refuge and your fortress, your shield and your deliverer. Lean on me, for I will sustain you. I will never allow you to be crushed by the weight of the world, for I hold you in the palm of my hand. You are secure in me, and nothing can snatch you away from my embrace. Be not anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Instead, trust in me with all your heart, and I will direct your paths. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. Even when you cannot see the road ahead, trust that I am guiding you with wisdom and love. I am the shepherd who leads you beside still waters, who restores your soul. Do not fear the unknown, for I am the one who goes before you, preparing the way. Though you may face valleys of shadows, walk with confidence, for I am your light. Though the world may offer uncertainty, I give you the certainty of my presence. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever, and my promises are eternal. When the world shifts, I remain steadfast. There is no need to strive in your own strength, for I have already completed the work. You do not have to earn my love or my favor, my grace is freely given to all who call on my name. Rest in the finished work of the cross, where I took upon myself all the weight of your sin, your pain, your shame. Through my sacrifice, you are forgiven, cleansed, and made new. You are no longer a slave to fear or to sin, you are a child of the Most High God. Live in the freedom I have given you. When you walk in my ways, you will find joy and peace that the world cannot give. The world offers fleeting happiness, but I give you lasting joy, a joy that comes from knowing that you are loved by the Creator of the universe. Let your heart rejoice in the love I have for you, for it is a love that cannot be shaken, a love that endures forever. I know your heart, and I understand your deepest longings. You may search the world for satisfaction, but only I can fulfill the desires of your soul. Seek me, and you will find the fulfillment that your heart craves. The things of this world are temporary, but the treasures I offer are eternal. When you seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, everything else will fall into place. Though you may face challenges, know that I have overcome the world. The enemy may try to steal your joy, but I am your strength and your song. Do not be discouraged, for I am greater than any challenge you face. I am with you in every circumstance, and my grace is sufficient for you. Let your eyes be fixed on me, the author and finisher of your faith. Let your heart be set on things above, where I am seated at the right hand of the Father. In the moments of doubt and uncertainty, remember that I am the rock on which you stand. Though the world may shift, I am unchanging. Though the storms may rage, I am your refuge. You can rest assured that I will never leave you nor forsake you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. You are precious in my sight, and I delight in you. When you are weary, come to me, and I will give you rest. When you are thirsty, come to me, and I will satisfy your soul. You are not alone in this journey. I have sent the Holy Spirit to be with you, to guide you, to comfort you, and to empower you. The Spirit of Truth will lead you into all wisdom and understanding. He will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have spoken to you. He will be your helper, your advocate, and your strength in times of need. Know this, you are my beloved, and I will always care for you. My love for you is immeasurable, and nothing in this world can separate you from that love. I have laid down my life for you, and I will continue to intercede for you before the Father. Trust in my perfect love, for it is the foundation of your life. Nothing can take you out of my hands, and you can be assured that I will never let you go. So, my dear child, take heart. 
Do not be afraid, for I am with you always. I am your strength, your shield, your comfort, and your peace. Rest in the assurance that my love for you is unchanging, and my promises are sure. Walk in the freedom I have given you, and live with the confidence that you are deeply loved and eternally secure in my care. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and you will never be led astray. For I am the way, the truth, and the life. Trust in me, and do not let your hearts be troubled. When the trials of life seem overwhelming, know that I am the one who walks with you through every storm. I am the one who turns your mourning into dancing, your weeping into joy. Even when you walk through the darkest valleys, my light will guide your way, and my presence will bring peace to your soul. I am the Comforter, and I will never leave you. My love for you is eternal, and nothing can separate you from it. When the world around you seems full of uncertainty and fear, remember that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I am your anchor in the storms, your strong tower that you can run to for safety. The winds may blow, and the waves may crash, but I will not be shaken. I will always remain faithful. My promises are sure, and I am more than able to bring you through any trial or hardship. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge me, and I will make your paths straight. I have called you to be the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. As you walk in my love and truth, you become a reflection of my light in a dark world. Let your life be a testimony of my grace and mercy, that others may come to know the hope that you have found in me. I have entrusted you with the message of my kingdom. Go into all the world and proclaim the good news. Let your words and actions reflect the love, mercy, and truth of the gospel. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. You have been called to share my message of salvation with those who are lost, hurting, and in need of hope. You are my hands and feet, and I am counting on you to carry out the work I have entrusted to you. Do not be afraid to speak the truth in love, for I am with you always. Though the world may reject you, remember that I was rejected as well. The world did not understand me, and they will not always understand you. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. You are not alone. The Holy Spirit will empower you to speak with boldness, to stand firm in your faith, and to love others as I have loved you. When you feel weary, come to me and rest. I will give you the strength you need to continue. I will refresh your soul and renew your spirit. I know the burdens you carry, and I am here to help you bear them. Cast all your anxieties on me, for I care for you. Do not carry the weight of the world on your own shoulders, I am here to carry it with you. I have given you everything you need for life and godliness. My grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in your weakness. When you are weak, I am strong. Do not be discouraged, for I am your source of strength. In me, you can do all things. When you are connected to me, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Stay rooted in my love, and let my word dwell richly in your heart. The enemy may try to steal your peace, your joy, and your confidence, but I have given you authority over him. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Put on the full armor of God, and stand firm in the battle. Take up the sword of the Spirit, which is my word, and fight the good fight of faith. I have already won the victory, and you are more than a conqueror through me. Do not fear, for I have overcome the world, and in me, you are victorious. You are my beloved, and I have chosen you. You are precious in my sight, and I will never abandon you. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. 
Do not be discouraged by the challenges you face, for I am with you, and I will never leave you. My faithfulness endures forever. I have come to give you life and life to the fullest. In me, you will find true peace, true joy, and true fulfillment. The world may offer temporary satisfaction, but only I can satisfy the deepest longings of your soul. Come to me, and you will never thirst again. I am the bread of life, the living water, and in me, you will find everything you need. Let your heart be filled with my love, and let it overflow to others. Love your neighbors as yourself, and even love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, and bless those who curse you. In this way, you reflect my heart and show the world what it means to live in my kingdom. Do not repay evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. You are called to be agents of reconciliation, bringing peace and healing to a broken world. Remember that I am always with you, even to the end of the age. No matter where you go, I will go with you. No matter what you face, I will be beside you. You are never alone. My love surrounds you, my peace sustains you, and my grace empowers you. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. And when the time comes, I will take you to be with me forever, where there will be no more pain, no more suffering, and no more tears. Until then, walk in my love. Walk in my peace. Walk in my power. And know that I am with you, now and forever. My love for you will never fail, and my promises will never be broken. Rest in the assurance that you are mine, and I will hold you close for all eternity. Let not your heart be troubled, for I am with you always. When you feel lost or uncertain, know that I have already paved the way before you. I go ahead of you, preparing the path, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even when the road seems difficult, when the journey feels too long, remember that I am beside you, guiding you, protecting you, and carrying you through each trial. I am the Good Shepherd, and I lay down my life for the sheep. In my arms, you are safe, secure, and loved. There are times when you may question your worth, when you may doubt my plans for you. But know this, my thoughts towards you are good, and I have always known you. Before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. I have created you with purpose, and I have a destiny for you that is far greater than you can imagine. Trust that every moment of your life is held in my hands, and I am working all things together for your good. You may not see it now, but I am at work, even in the midst of your struggles. Your purpose is to reflect my glory, to show my love, and to share my hope with a broken world. You are my hands and feet, my voice and heart. Your life has eternal significance, and the love you extend to others reflects the love I have shown you. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Keep pressing forward, keep sharing my love, keep being a light in the darkness, for you are making a difference. The world will try to tell you that success is measured by what you have, what you can achieve, or how the world views you. But I tell you that true success is found in loving and serving others, in following me with all your heart, and in living out the commands I have given you. The greatest among you is the one who serves. You are not called to be exalted, but to humble yourself, to give of yourself, and to love others as I have loved you. Remember, I have not called you to a life of ease, but to a life of purpose. You will face opposition, and you will face challenges. But do not fear, for I have overcome the world. You are more than a conqueror through me, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Stand firm in your faith, and trust in my power to help you overcome. You are not fighting in your own strength, but in mine. I will strengthen you, I will equip you, and I will see you through to the end. Know that I am coming again, and my reward is with me. 
I will return to take my faithful ones to be with me forever. In that day, all things will be made new. There will be no more pain, no more tears, no more sorrow. I will wipe away every tear from your eyes, and you will dwell in my presence forever. Until that day comes, keep your eyes fixed on me. Live in the light of eternity, knowing that the trials of this world are but temporary and that the glory to come far outweighs them all. You are my beloved, and I am with you always, to the very end of the age. I have chosen you, and you are precious in my sight. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, when you pass through the fire, you will not be burned. You are my child, and I will never let you go. In the days ahead, remember that I am your source of strength and peace. Keep my word in your heart, for it is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Let it guide you, shape you, and transform you. Let my truth dwell in you richly, for it is the key to living a victorious life. And as you walk in my ways, you will bear much fruit, fruit that will last for eternity. Take heart, for I am with you. You do not walk this journey alone. My presence is always with you, and my love will never fail. Trust in me, rest in me, and know that in my time, I will make all things beautiful. I will restore what has been broken, and I will fulfill the promises I have made to you. You are never far from my heart. Your life is precious to me, and I will never let you go. Now, go forth in my name. Walk in my love, share my peace, and shine my light in this dark world. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Be a worker in my kingdom, and share the good news of my love. Let your life be a testimony of my grace, and know that I am with you every step of the way. Do not be afraid of the storms that rage around you, for I am the one who calms the winds and stills the waves. When the waters are deep and the night is dark, remember that I am with you. I walked on the water to reach my disciples, and I will walk with you through every trial. My peace is not the peace that the world gives, but the peace that surpasses all understanding. It is a peace that comes from knowing that I am in control and that I will never leave you. Keep your eyes on me, for I am your anchor in the storm. When your heart is troubled, when doubts arise, and when you feel overwhelmed by the burdens of life, come to me. I am the healer of broken hearts, the restorer of hope, and the redeemer of every lost cause. There is no wound too deep, no sorrow too great, that my love cannot heal. I know the pain you carry, and I invite you to cast your burdens upon me. In my arms, you will find comfort, and in my presence, you will find rest. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. Trust in me, for I am working all things for your good. You are not defined by your mistakes, nor by the scars of your past. You are a new creation in me. The old has passed away, and behold, all things have become new. My forgiveness covers all your sins, and my mercy is new every morning. Do not let shame or guilt hold you back, for I have paid the price for your redemption. Walk in the freedom that I have won for you, and do not look back. You are free, and I have called you to live in the fullness of my love. Remember that you are never alone. My spirit lives within you, guiding you, teaching you, and empowering you to live the life I have called you to. You are not called to live by your own strength, but by the power of the Holy Spirit who works in you. He will give you wisdom, discernment, and courage for every step of your journey. When you do not know what to pray, the Spirit will intercede for you with groans that words cannot express. Trust in His leading, for He is always with you. You are part of my family, and my family is a community of love, support, and encouragement. When you feel weak, reach out to one another. Bear one another's burdens, 
and so fulfill the law of Christ. You are not meant to walk this path alone. I have placed you in a body of believers, and together, you are stronger than you are apart. Love one another deeply, for love covers a multitude of sins. Let your unity be a testimony to the world of my love and grace. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you face, for I have overcome the world. Your victory is assured, not because of your strength, but because of mine. In every battle, I am with you, and I have already won the ultimate victory over sin and death. When you face trials, remember that they are temporary, but the glory that is to come is eternal. Keep your eyes on the prize, and run with endurance the race that is set before you. Know that I am preparing a place for you in my Father's house. In my Father's house, there are many rooms, and I am going there to prepare a place for you. I will come again and take you to be with me, that where I am, you may be also. This world is not your home, and the struggles you face are not forever. I am coming soon, and I will make all things new. There will be no more death, no more mourning, no more crying, and no more pain. All things will be restored, and you will live with me forever in a place of peace and joy. Until that day comes, keep the faith. Stand firm in my word, and trust in my promises. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. You are my beloved, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. You are precious in my sight, and nothing can separate you from my love. Walk in the victory that I have given you, and share my love with the world. Your labor is not in vain and your reward will be great. As you go, remember to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Love is the key to my kingdom, and it is the greatest testimony of who I am. Let love guide everything you do, for love is the fulfillment of the law. Love one another and in doing so, you reflect the heart of your Father. Take heart, my beloved. I am with you always, and I will never let you go. Keep your eyes on me, and trust in my goodness, for I am faithful. I will lead you through the valleys, and I will celebrate with you on the mountaintops. Do not be afraid, for I have overcome the world. My love is unshakable, my promises are sure, and my presence will never depart from you. You are mine, and I will be with you forever. Let not your heart be troubled, for I am the one who holds the keys to life and death. When you are weary, rest in my presence. When you are uncertain, trust in my guidance. I am the good shepherd who leads you beside still waters, and I will restore your soul. Every step you take is covered by my love, and every breath you take is a gift from me. I have numbered the hairs on your head, and I know your every need. Even before you ask, I provide. Trust that my plans for you are good, plans to give you a future and a hope. Know that I am near, even in the moments when you feel the most distant. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. My love for you is steadfast, and nothing in all creation can separate you from it. You are secure in my arms, and in me, you have found a refuge that is unshakable. When the world around you falters, remember that I am the rock on which you stand. In the quiet moments, listen for my still, small voice. I speak to those who seek me, and I will reveal my heart to you. When you draw near to me, I draw near to you. Do not let the distractions of the world drown out my whispers of love and guidance. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things, for your life is hidden with me in God. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. As you walk in my ways, remember that you are a light in the darkness. 
Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. The world may be filled with darkness, but I have called you to be a city on a hill, shining with the truth of my love. Do not hide your light under a bowl, but let it shine brightly, for you are the reflection of my grace and mercy to a world in need. Do not be afraid to love, for love is the greatest commandment. Love even those who are difficult to love, for it is in loving them that you show the heart of my Father. When you love your enemies, you mirror my love for you. I loved you while you were still in your sin, and I gave my life for you. Now, go and do likewise. Let your love be unconditional, sacrificial, and abundant. Let your life be a testimony of the love that I have poured into your heart. Remember, my beloved, that you are not alone. My spirit is with you, guiding you, strengthening you, and empowering you to live the life I have called you to. You are not defined by your failures or your successes, you are defined by my love. Your identity is in me, and nothing in this world can take that away. I have chosen you, and you are mine. I have given you a purpose, and I will equip you for every good work. Do not be discouraged by the trials you face, for they are refining you. The testing of your faith produces perseverance, and perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Know that I am with you in every trial, and I am using it for your good. Trust in me, for I am faithful. When you face trials of many kinds, consider it pure joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I know the end from the beginning, and I have already gone before you. Every step you take, I have already ordained, and I am with you every step of the way. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. For I am your God, and you are my beloved. Fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. As you walk in this world, remember that you are not of this world. Your citizenship is in heaven, and you are a stranger and pilgrim here. Set your hearts on things above, and do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be not afraid to stand firm in your faith, for you are my chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You have been called out of darkness into my marvelous light, and I have made you a light to the nations. Do not let fear steal your joy or hinder your purpose. Perfect love casts out fear, and my love for you is perfect. When you face moments of doubt, look to me, for I am the author and finisher of your faith. I will complete the good work I have started in you. Trust in my timing, for I make all things beautiful in their time. You may not understand the journey now, but trust that I am working all things for your good and for my glory. As you seek to follow me, know that my grace is sufficient. You do not need to have it all figured out. I will lead you, step by step. Do not let the weight of the world crush your spirit. Take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Let me carry your burdens, and you will find rest for your soul. Come to me, all who are weary, and I will give you rest. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know my sheep by name. You are known, loved, and cherished by me. When you walk through life, know that I am with you, guiding you, protecting you, and providing for you. My love for you is immeasurable, and it will never fail. As you walk this path, remember that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Trust in me, for I am the one who holds the keys to eternal life, and in me, you will find rest, peace, and joy that will never fade. I have come to give you life, and life more abundantly. My desire is that you live in peace, 
joy, and freedom, walking in the fullness of what I have prepared for you. Do not allow the struggles of this world to rob you of the blessings that I have set before you. Though there may be trials and tribulations, remember that I have overcome the world. In me, you are more than a conqueror, for I have already won the victory. Hold fast to this truth, and let your heart be anchored in it. My love is your foundation, and upon this foundation, you can stand firm, no matter what storms may come. I have called you to be bold, to be strong in your faith, to stand as a light in the midst of darkness. Fear not, for I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You are not alone in this journey. I walk beside you, and I am within you, guiding you, empowering you, and sustaining you. Even in moments of weakness, my strength is made perfect. Do not be discouraged when you feel like you are not enough, for I am enough. I am your provision, your refuge, your strength. In your weakness, my grace is sufficient. Do not strive in your own power, but rest in my sufficiency. Trust in my timing, for I make all things beautiful in their time. The work I have started in you, I will complete. I have plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. When you feel like giving up, remember that I am the God of endurance and encouragement. I will give you the strength to endure, to persevere, and to press on toward the goal that I have set before you. There will be times when the road seems long, and the journey seems impossible, but remember that nothing is impossible with God. Keep your eyes on me, and I will direct your path. Trust in my promises, for they are yes and amen. My love is a love that never fails, that never falters, that never runs out. It is a love that covers a multitude of sins, that heals the brokenhearted, that restores what was lost. It is a love that calls you to rise up and walk in the fullness of who you are, a child of the Most High God. My love has been poured out upon you, and it is a love that is ever-present, ever-steadfast, and unchanging. When you fall, I will lift you up. When you stumble, I will steady your feet. I will not condemn you, but I will forgive you, and I will help you to stand again. The enemy may try to accuse you, but I have already paid the price for your sins. You are washed clean in my blood, and you are justified before the Father. You are a new creation in Christ, the old has gone, and the new has come. Live in the freedom that I have purchased for you. In this world, you will face challenges, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. I have given you the victory, and I will never leave you to face these battles alone. I am your strength, your shield, your protector. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me, and I will make your paths straight. Know that I have a purpose for your life. You were created with intention, with a calling, with a destiny. No matter how difficult the journey may seem, do not lose sight of the truth that I have created you for greatness. My plans for you are filled with hope and promise. Walk in the confidence that I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your purpose. Trust in my plan, even when it doesn't make sense, for I am the one who is guiding you. Do not be afraid to take risks, to step out in faith, to trust me with the unknown. I will never leave you, and I will never lead you into a situation where my grace cannot sustain you. Even in the valleys, I am with you. Even in the wilderness, I am the pillar of cloud by day and the fire by night. You are not alone, and I will never abandon you. As you continue to walk in this world, remember that you are not of this world. Your citizenship is in heaven, and your heart should be set on things above. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Your treasure is not here on earth, but in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Set your heart on eternal things, 
and let your life reflect the love and truth of the kingdom. I have called you to be a disciple, to follow me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. This is the greatest commandment, and it is in this commandment that you will find true fulfillment. As you seek to love me with everything that you are, you will find that you are also able to love your neighbor as yourself. And in loving others, you are fulfilling the law of Christ. Do not let the world define you, for your worth is found in me. You are precious, chosen, and loved by the Father. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and nothing in this world can change that. Your identity is in Christ, and in Him, you are complete. Rest in that truth, and let it be your foundation. You are my beloved, and I have called you by name. You are mine. In the moments when you feel weary, come to me. I will give you rest. In the moments when you feel alone, know that I am with you. In the moments when you feel like you cannot go on, I will strengthen you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trust in my love, trust in my grace, and trust in my faithfulness. You are called to be a vessel of my love and grace to the world. Let your life be a reflection of my heart, and let your actions speak louder than words. Love others as I have loved you, and in doing so, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And surely, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Remember, my child, you are never alone. I am with you, now and forevermore. Hold fast to me, for I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. All things were made through me, and in me, all things hold together. You are part of my creation, intricately woven together with purpose and intention. Know that you are not an accident, nor are your struggles in vain. I have designed you for a reason, and even in moments of hardship, I am with you, refining you, shaping you, preparing you for what lies ahead. Trust in the process. I know the plans I have for you, and they are plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Though you may not always understand the path you are walking, know that I see the end from the beginning. I hold your future in my hands. When the road is unclear, when the way seems difficult, trust that I am leading you in the direction that is best for you. I have given you the Holy Spirit, your Comforter, your Advocate, and your Guide. Do not walk alone, for He will lead you into all truth, and He will empower you to do all that I have called you to do. You are never left to your own strength. My Spirit is with you, equipping you, encouraging you, and strengthening you to do the work I have called you to. Trust in Him, lean on Him, and know that His presence will always be with you, giving you the wisdom and discernment you need for every decision you face. You are a part of a great family, the body of Christ. No matter how isolated you may feel at times, know that you are not alone in your faith. You have brothers and sisters who are walking alongside you, each with their own struggles, but also with their own triumphs. Reach out to others, encourage them, and allow them to encourage you. Together, you are stronger. Together, you are united in my love. It is through the body of Christ that you will experience the fullness of my love, for I am in you, and you are in me. Remember, I have called you to love. To love me with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. And to love your neighbor as yourself. This is the heart of the kingdom. Love is the greatest commandment, for it is in love that you will find true fulfillment and purpose. In loving others, you reflect my heart to the world. Love those who are difficult to love, for in doing so, you mirror my love for you. I loved you when you were unlovable. I forgave you when you did not deserve it. 
I reached out to you when you were far from me. Now, you are called to do the same. Be patient with those around you, for I have been patient with you. Be kind, for my kindness leads you to repentance. Show mercy, for I have shown you great mercy. And forgive, as you have been forgiven. These are the marks of my disciples, and it is through these actions that the world will know that you are mine. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. But do not be deceived, my child. This world is full of distractions, of temptations that seek to pull you away from me. The enemy will try to deceive you, to steal your joy, and to lead you astray. But I have overcome the world. I have given you the victory. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Stand firm in your faith, resist the enemy, and he will flee from you. Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. I know your heart, and I understand your needs. You need not worry, for I will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. Do not let the cares of this world weigh you down. I will carry your burdens for you. Cast all your anxiety on me, because I care for you. When you are weary, I will give you rest. When you are heavy laden, I will ease your burden. Come to me, and you will find peace for your soul. My peace is not like the world's peace. It is a peace that transcends all understanding, a peace that guards your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let my peace rule in your heart, and you will find rest. In your times of hardship, remember that I am close to the brokenhearted, and I save those who are crushed in spirit. You may feel weak, but I am your strength. You may feel lost, but I am the way. You may feel like you are in the dark, but I am the light of the world. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and you will not be overcome by the darkness. I know the struggles you face. I know the pain you endure. But remember, this world is not your home. You are just passing through. Your citizenship is in heaven, and one day, I will return to take you home. There will be no more sorrow, no more pain, no more tears. All things will be made new. Until that day comes, know that I am with you always, to the very end of the age. In the meantime, I have called you to be a witness to the world. Let your life testify to the goodness of God. Share the good news of my love and salvation with those around you. Do not be afraid to speak of the hope that you have in me. For it is through your testimony that others will come to know me. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are my hands and feet in this world. You are called to serve others, to love the lost, to heal the broken, and to set the captives free. Do not seek greatness in the eyes of the world, but seek greatness in the eyes of the Father. The greatest among you will be the servant of all. Be humble, be kind, and be compassionate. You are called to be a reflection of my heart in the world. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Keep pressing on, keep walking by faith, and keep trusting in me. Your labor is not in vain. Every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every moment you spend serving others, is a seed sown into eternity. You will see the fruit of your labor in due time. I am the Good Shepherd, and I know my sheep. I call you by name, and you follow me. You hear my voice, and you know my voice. Do not follow the voice of the stranger, for he only seeks to deceive you and lead you astray. Follow me, and you will find life. Follow me, and you will find rest for your soul. I will lead you beside still waters and restore your soul. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. 
But I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Abundant life is found in me. You were created for more than just existence. You were created to live in relationship with me, to know me, and to make me known. You were created to experience my love and to share it with others. Do not settle for anything less than the fullness of life that I offer. I have called you to be a light in the darkness, to shine my love and truth into the world around you. Do not hide your light under a basket. Let it shine for all to see. When people see your good deeds, they will glorify your Father in heaven. As you continue to walk in this world, know that I am with you every step of the way. Trust in my promises, for they are faithful and true. You are never alone. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I will never leave you nor forsake you. Keep your eyes on me, and you will not be shaken. Keep your heart set on me, and you will find peace. Keep your hope anchored in me, and you will find strength. I am your Savior, your Redeemer, your friend. I am the one who calls you by name. You are mine, and I love you with an everlasting love. Know this, and let it fill your heart with peace and joy. Keep running the race set before you, for the prize is worth it. You are more than a conqueror in me. You are victorious, and you are loved. Keep walking in the truth of who you are in me, and you will see my glory revealed in your life. I say to you, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in the Father, and trust in me. In my Father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I and the Father are one. You must believe this truth, for it is through this understanding that you will be grounded in your faith. It is in me that you have your life, your purpose, and your calling. I have given you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. I have made you ambassadors of my kingdom, and as such, you are called to carry the authority I have given you. You are to speak my words with power and truth, and as you declare my will, it will be done. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. The victory is already won. The battle has been fought and finished. And I have come to bring you peace that surpasses all understanding. Though the world may seem in chaos, know that I have already secured the victory. Do not be afraid of the enemy or the storms that arise. I am the one who calms the storm. I am the one who brings peace. My power is greater than all that you face, and you are never without help. I have given you the Holy Spirit to be your helper, your guide, and your comforter. He will lead you into all truth, and he will remind you of everything I have spoken to you. I have also called you to bear fruit. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. Do not be surprised when you are persecuted for my name's sake. 
The world hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, it would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, the world will hate you. Remember the words I spoke to you, no servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. But do not be discouraged, for I have overcome the world. Your reward in heaven is great, and you are counted among the faithful. As you live out your calling, remember that you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are also the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. The world needs the light that you carry. Do not hide it or keep it to yourself. Share it freely, and as you do, you will be a witness of my love and truth. Do not be ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. You are my ambassadors, entrusted with the message of reconciliation. You are to go into all the world, proclaiming the good news, making disciples of all nations. I have given you authority to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, and to cast out demons in my name. I have given you power over all the works of the enemy. Nothing will harm you, for you are protected by my mighty hand. Do not fear the darkness or the evil one. You are a child of light, and in me, you are victorious. As you go out into the world, take my word with you. Let it be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. My word will not return void. It will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. It is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Let my word dwell richly in you, teaching and admonishing one another with all wisdom, and singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts. You have been called to stand firm in your faith. Do not let the cares of this world or the deceitfulness of riches choke out the seed of my word in your life. Keep your heart tender and receptive to the message I have for you. Let my word take root in your heart and produce a harvest of righteousness. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Even when you do not understand the circumstances around you, trust in my timing. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. I will lead you in paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. You have been chosen and called for such a time as this. You are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for you to do. I have equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your purpose. You are more than capable because I am the one who strengthens you. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Do not be discouraged or dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. No weapon formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment will be condemned. This is your heritage as a servant of the Lord. Keep your eyes fixed on me. Do not look to the left or the right. Keep your focus on the prize, which is eternal life with me. Though the world may seem fleeting, my kingdom is forever. You are an heir of my kingdom, and I will reward your faithfulness. Stay true to the calling I have placed on your life, and you will see the fruit of your labor. I am coming soon, and my reward is with me, to give to each person according to what they have done. 
Blessed are those who are watching and waiting for my return. Be faithful, be diligent, and keep your hearts pure, for the time of my coming is nearer than you think. Keep your lamp burning, for I am the bridegroom, and the wedding feast is near. I am coming to make all things new. There will be no more death, no more mourning, no more crying, and no more pain. The old order of things will pass away, and everything will be made new. There will be no more tears, no more separation, no more sorrow. You will dwell with me forever, in the place I have prepared for you. Until that day comes, be faithful. Keep the faith, run the race, and finish the course. You are not alone, and you will never be forsaken. I will always be with you, and I will see you through. I say to you, my beloved children, keep your hearts and minds steadfast in the love of the Father. Do not allow the distractions of the world to cloud the vision of the promise I have given you. The promise of life eternal, of peace that surpasses all understanding, of joy that no man can take from you, is yours in me. You must abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Remember, it is not by your own strength, but by my Spirit, that you are able to do all things. The power you have, the courage to press forward, comes from me. Do not boast in your own works, for without me, you can do nothing. But in me, you are more than conquerors. In me, you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My love for you is unchanging, and it is not based on your performance or your perfection. I know your heart, I know your struggles, I know your fears. I see the places where you fall short, but I do not condemn you. Instead, I lift you up, I offer forgiveness, and I give you the grace to stand again. Remember, when you repent, I am faithful and just to forgive you. There is no sin so great that my love cannot cover it. Come to me with a humble heart, and I will give you rest. Do not be afraid to ask of me. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. You, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Your Father knows what you need even before you ask, and he delights in giving you good things. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Trust in the Father's provision, for he will never leave you or forsake you. He knows the number of hairs on your head, and he cares for you more than the birds of the air. Will he not much more care for you, his beloved children? You are my treasure, you are the apple of my eye. I have loved you with an everlasting love, and I have called you to be mine. You are my ambassadors on this earth, called to share the love and truth I have revealed to you with the world around you. I have given you the ministry of reconciliation, to bring those who are far from me back into my fold. Do not fear rejection, for they are not rejecting you, but they are rejecting me. Stand firm in the truth, and know that I am with you, even to the end of the age. I have given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. These are not just words, but the reality of the authority I have given you. You are no longer slaves to fear or to sin, but you are heirs to the kingdom, co-heirs with me. You have the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. But be wise, for the enemy prowls like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Stand firm in the faith, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Submit to God, and draw near to him, and he will draw near to you. Wash your hands, 
you sinners, and purify your hearts. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. It is through your humility that you will find strength, for I oppose the proud but give grace to the humble. When you humble yourself, you acknowledge that you are nothing without me. But in me, you have everything. And as you walk in humility, I will raise you up at the proper time. You have been called to be a light in the darkness, to be the salt of the earth. Do not hide your light under a bowl, but let it shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Your life is a testimony to the greatness of my love, and as you live according to my word, others will be drawn to the truth that you carry. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. You are not alone, my children. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. My Spirit is in you, guiding you, comforting you, teaching you, and empowering you to live the life I have called you to. You are my witnesses, and through you, I will reach the world. You are the body of Christ, and each of you plays an important role in building up the kingdom. Do not despise the small beginnings, for every step of faith is a step closer to the fulfillment of my promise. And though the road may be long, and the journey may be hard, I have overcome the world. I have conquered sin and death, and because I live, you too will live. No matter what you face in this life, remember that it is temporary. The glory that awaits you is eternal. Set your eyes on what is above, not on the things of this world. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. The race is not to the swift or the strong, but to those who endure to the end. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Stand firm in your faith, and trust in the promise of my word. You are my beloved, and nothing can separate you from my love. And when the end comes, when all things are made new, you will stand before me, not because of your righteousness, but because of mine. You will be clothed in the righteousness of Christ, and you will enter into the joy of your Master. You will dwell with me forever, and there will be no more tears, no more pain, and no more sorrow. Only joy, peace, and the fullness of life in my presence. Until that day, keep the faith, endure the hardships, and remember the promise I have given you. I will return for you, and together, we will dwell in my eternal kingdom. Stay faithful, my children, and know that I am with you always. I say to you, my beloved children, hold fast to the truth that has been revealed to you. Do not allow the cares of this world to distract you from the eternal glory that awaits. For the things of this world are fleeting, but the kingdom of God endures forever. You are pilgrims here, strangers in a foreign land, but your citizenship is in heaven, and that is where your true treasure lies. I have called you to be the salt of the earth, to be a preservative in a world that is decaying. You are my hands and feet, called to carry out my will on this earth, to heal the sick, to comfort the brokenhearted, and to bring hope to the hopeless. The light I have placed within you is meant to shine in the darkest places, that all may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not be discouraged by the trials you face. These trials are not to destroy you but to refine you, to purify you, to make you more like me. Just as gold is refined in the fire, so too are you being refined. Your faith, though tested by fire, is of greater worth than gold. Rejoice, for you are being prepared for something far greater than you can imagine. I am the Good Shepherd, and I lead you beside still waters. When you are weary, I will give you rest. Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you peace. My peace I leave with you, not as the world gives, but the peace that transcends all understanding, guarding your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I know the burdens you carry, and I see the weight upon your shoulders. But know this, 
you do not carry them alone. I am with you always. When you walk through the fire, I will be there. When you pass through the waters, they will not overwhelm you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you.